for Miss Scorpiana X. All right, all right. That's it. I will play with my crutch a little bit because do it. Yeah, usually um, I'm from San Jose. And when I get on the mic in San Jose, usually at the slam, I'm always a little bit nervous. Like, no matter how many times I get up on stage, I get that stomach clenching, the, the oh my god, I'm going to puke before I can actually spit a poem. So I'll usually get up on stage, and I take about like a whole minute just fiddling with the microphone. Like, I'm always praying there's a taller poet before me, so I take a minute adjusting. I've heard a lot of really awesome stuff tonight. I'm excited to be here. Um, finally meet Curtis and Kendra. They're like my Facebook friends, but like I've never met them. Um, trying to think what I want to start off with. Um, I do have to forewarn. I kind of got a mouth on me. Um, I could have been a truck driver. We don't give a fuck. Um, and, and this goes over really well in San Jose. I found out if you don't cuss in your poems, in San Jose, like you lose points in the slam. So um, if anyone has sensitive ears, I do kind of apologize. And um, I'm not going to explain the poems really before I do them because I can bore you to death with an explanation of my poem, or I can bore you with the actual poem. So. <laughs> Bring it on, sister. So, um, and I'm having this big brain fart. I can't remember the name of this poem right now. Um, Oh, disenchantment. Um, I tried to duplicate the love I felt for an imaginary man in the circle of your arms. But your walls lack the necessary comfort and all I feel is resentment as I sponge remnants of your cum off my brand new couch, pondering the many ways to poison your hamburger helper had I been the type of woman to do that type of shit. Hmm. But I'm not bitter. <laughs> nah, I'm not bitter. Just slightly disappointed at two bodies, inability to connect at even a purely physical level, my frustration equal to your smug satisfaction, and my ego just a little fucking annoyed when in the almost heat of the moment, I call out another man's name and you don't even seem to mind. Yikes. Possibly because this is the closest you'll ever get to your little fantasy of seeing me with another man other than the nine inch rubber demigod you bought me for Christmas and then forgot to sacrifice Duracells to. But I'm not bitter. See, I'm not bitter. See, baby, bitter left on the 430 bus. Motherfucker, I'm just through. Yeah.